welcome to my YouTube channel. This is BNSF6951, a Vinnie Vid Productions video. Hi, I'm Vinnie and I will be your host. This is a model railroad channel, so if you enjoy watching scratch builds, layout updates, and rail fanning, and lots of other stuff that pertains to model railroading, this is the channel for you. So if you like what you see, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And after you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that bell. That will give you a notification of any time I do a video or a live stream. Anyhow, I'm going to ask you guys to do one more thing, and that is to give me the thumbs up. That will help my analytics with YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video, so let's get going. First, a word from my sponsors. This Vinny Vid production brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. For all your model railroad needs, check out Yankee Dabbler. Don't forget, 7% discount with BNSF 6951. And by Highways and Byways, awesome street graphics for your roads and streets on your model railroad layout. If you guys are looking for sophisticated model railroad electronics, Logic Rail Technology has what you need. For a 5% discount on certain items, use code BNSF6951. Alright guys, now it's time for the next step on your layout. Trees! I have been dealing with Bob for seven years now and he does excellent work on his trees. So if you need some trees on your layout, check out Long Shadow's Trees. Tell him the cuz sent you. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions video. The date today is April 21st, 2022. And I'm mentioning the date just so you guys know that this is a new video because I know I've been reposting a lot of videos lately. Uh, only because I haven't had the time. First thing of business is uh, I am proud to say that Roy has picked out a color for his uh, the roof on his bills. And uh, I will be showing that uh, in another video. But the reason for this video is because when I was watching uh, Obsession number 5 uh, that you guys have probably already watched by the time this video comes out, I said to myself, I liked where my ethanol plant used to be. And that is where the video is recorded at that time. So, with that being said, I am going to rearrange my entire lower level. Well, the lower level where the Glendale, uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Glendale overflow yard is. And I am going to put my ethanol plant back in that position. So, with that being said... Let's get out to the layout and let me show you what I'll be doing uh, as far as track work and all that kind of stuff. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. All right, guys, this is my ethanol plant. Uh, it's not really a prototypical uh, industry on my layout, but because I have so many tankers and so many hoppers, I decided to do it. This is a loosely built on the HO version of the uh, Walters ethanol plant. Uh, that you guys can get that they did not make an end scale. Anyhow, I made a few changes to it so I don't hit, get hit with any copyrights. Uh, so anyhow, yeah, so that's my ethanol plant. It's called Sierra Adobe. Uh, and how I got that, <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh how I got that name. The post office in my area is called the Sierra Adobe Branch. <laughs> and I saw that and I said, oh, that's a good name for my ethanol plant. Anyhow, I just wanted to give you a little inside information on, on what's going on with this ethanol plant. So we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye for now. All right, guys, this was the area I was talking about in my intro. Uh, what was supposed to be here was my uh, auto rack facility and my uh, intermodal facility. I decided I'm not going to run intermodal on here. I'm not happy with the way my end scale cars run, even though they're Cados. I'm uh, just not happy with them. Anyhow, what I'm going to do is uh, the ethanol plant was originally here, but up here. And I had decided that I was going to put it up here. But I decided that I want to move the ethanol plant back down to where it belongs or where it used to be and put my auto rack facility up here. And then in the background where those boxes are, are going to be uh, Walter's uh, Merchant Rose. And then there'll be the main road that comes down here, which would be Grand Avenue. And I think it's a lot, a lot better location. It's a lot closer to where it's supposed to be. Anyhow, let's get on with the rest of the video. Be back in a few. All right, 
right guys this is the area I'm talking about um, as you can see my ethanol plant is back there it used to be out here on the front side but I want to keep the yard in the front uh, so there's no tall buildings for me to reach over to get to anything that's in the yard um, I'm gonna leave the tankers the way they are and you see all these little pieces of blue tape uh, that's gonna be uh, this track right here with the blue tape is going to come out up to here so that track runs all the way back to here so that turnout will be coming out and instead it will be doing this and the turnout will be here and that will be the tanker unloading all loading facility and then on this side here these two tracks are going to remain but how they're going to get to there is going to be different I have two two uh, curves turnouts coming in up here so I'll be able to change that around uh, and that's going to be for the hoppers the hoppers are coming back here going through the hopper shed and they will come out to about here then this track that's sitting that the building is sitting on there and there and all the way around to here is all going to come out including this turnout and this turnout and this track here also will be coming out so once all of that's taken out and I'll be able to position the buildings in there a little bit better, I'll be able to uh, arrange the track plan in its final position. The yard is going to stay the same, but instead of having two uh, arrival departure tracks, I'm going to have one, which is going to be this one here, and then the other ones will be uh, one, two, three, four, five stub end track for the yard. So that's not going to be too much of a difference there. Now. On the other side here, walk around nice and slowly. For a long time, I've been looking at this section right here and I just hated it. Why do I hate it? Because the train <coughs> that is on this track here to get to the helix has to go through this crossover right here and then cross back over that way so he can get onto the helix track I'm going to be changing this section out also um, I'm going to be putting a uh, two left hand uh, number 10s in here where this track and this track will be uh, be able to cross over just like that and this one here will be able to go straight in so that's going to alleviate a lot of problems that I was having in this section right here um, I'm gonna to have to think about how to re uh, reinstall my reversing loop uh, but that's okay, because uh, that will all be done as we're working on, on the layout. Anyhow, I do have some people coming over this weekend to help me do some of this stuff. And uh, we'll see how far we get. So anyhow, with all that being said, stay tuned for the rest of this video. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye for now. Alright guys and gals, this is going to be part two of the mail call. Uh, uh, I did the first part of this on my live stream on, uh, on uh, April 22nd. Uh, so you'll see, if you want to go back and watch that, you can see what I had in, in mail call number one. Anyhow, both of these packages that I got today, uh, which is Saturday the 23rd, are both from Yankee Dabbler. I know what they are. Um, 
because I ordered them. <laughs> uh, like like uh, I showed you at the beginning of this video, I'm going to be making lots of changes on my layout. And after I do this nail call, I'm going to bring you back out to the layout and show you the second part of what we are doing, uh, what I am doing to my layout. That's the reason for these nail calls. Anyhow, let's open up number one. And let's see. articulating auto racks and they are different numbers this is like uh, item number is 179 this one is 180 and of course this is something I don't want to see <laughs> the bill and then this one here is another one from Yankee Dabbler and it's just the enhancer I just showed you right there on that one Let's see if we can get this open. All right. All right. Let's put this down on the floor and take out all the uh, packing stuff. And yep, that's exactly what I expected. Just what I ordered. Four more boxes of these Atlas articulating uh, auto racks. And like I said earlier, they're all different numbers. This, these numbers here are number 186, number 187, and then we got 182, 185, and then we got 179 and 180. Those, in addition to the two that I got my other, my last night's nail call, was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. That's sixteen cars. For me, that's two trains. <laughs> All right, guys and gals, you've seen that mail call. Now I have one more mail call coming up, and uh, this is going to be a couple of eBay finds. So let's see what we got going on here. Package number one. Uh, like I said, it's eBay. And let's open this up and see what it is. Alright. Well, that opened up easy. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. This is the Walters Modern Gas Station. And it'll be going up into the area that I'm going to show you guys here in a little bit. And then the next one is something that I've been wanting for a while. I finally found one and uh, decided to pick it up. I couldn't afford the better version, so I got the cheaper version for now. And uh, later on, I'll dress it up a little bit. Oops. All right, All right what do we got here? Lots of packing stuff. All right, and of course we got the invoice. But this, my friends, is what I've been waiting for for a while. I had one of these a while ago and someone made it in office, so I sold it. But this is Kansas City Southern C-840C. This is just a DC model. I will buy a decoder, put a decoder in here, and then eventually I might even send it out and get sound put into it. But anyhow, um, I've been looking forward to getting one of these for a while, and I'm also on the lookout for a Ferromex. I'd like to get a Ferromex, and maybe these are all trains, locomotives that I've seen here in town. Anyhow, with all that being said, let's get out to the layout, and let me show you where all of this stuff is gonna be going. Stay tuned, and we will be back in a few minutes. Alright guys, I'm going to show you where all these kits are going to be going. Way down there at the end, right there, is a couple of DPM buildings that I had. Uh, that I actually stole from someplace else. But then these are the Walthers um, Merchant Rose. That's 1, 2, and 3, or 3, or 1, 2, and 3, whichever. And I got my uh, Dairy Queen and my uh, 
What's the other one? Taco Bell <laughs> sitting there, right there. And then on this side here is where that modern gas station is going to go. I think that's going to make this whole scene look really, really good. Anyhow, like I told you earlier, this is Grand Avenue in here. Uh, and at the end over here, I am going to uh, put a little parking lot. So like all of the cars that come out of these auto racks will have a place to be parked. Anyhow, with all that being said, let's continue on with this video. We'll talk to you guys later. Be back in a bit. Bye for now. See, that's not going to work. Yeah. Not unless you take it back or something. Unless I put it all the way back. Here. Like that. Then will probably work. Yeah. Make this your trap that goes along here. This one. Shut off. Yeah, I'm doing the streaming thing, you mm -hmm. know. And it's funny because out of the clear blue sky, right in the middle of the show, it just stopped. <laughs> and then, it, it, in order for me to get back, I have to go through the whole process of me getting back into it and going back to that particular show and saying, "Continue watching," and then I press OK. And for no reason at all, it just stops. stops. So doesn't even give you a warning. No, nope. like nope, you're gone. So, can we leave this guy? Well, I was going to say, that's your outside. That would be this one that comes down to here. That one goes to there. And then we can get... Oh, so we just need to have a curve that comes into this guy. That's right. And you see, this one can go here. Hold on. So that'll be that track. I can straighten this curve out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Ow. And that will get me closer to that mark. Right. It's okay if we're out there because we yeah. have we have the room. We can like on a final installation we can bring the other one right along it. See now this one here. We have to come up a little straight right there. Yeah. And then it'll curve into that. <clears throat> now this one, we need, just need to have the outside one, right? Right. Or the inside one, whatever you want. Whichever way, <laughs> whatever way you want. Whichever way you're looking at it. All right, so now, will this guy curve? He will. Kind of funky. Yeah. I think we need to be straight right here. And then curve. All right, what do you think about that? There you go, see? Now it's got a longer drop off. All right. Then the locomotive could either go back to Phoenix or come in here and do the switching. But I'd rather do switching, change switching crews. Looks like that's a good piece for up there. To where? Um, into that oh, for right there? Like right there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we need a piece behind it too. 
I need to come back here. Does that one a lot longer? Or? No, it's shorter actually. Shorter? Okay. Actually, hold on, hold on. I could work with that one. I'll cut it down. Okay. Here's a shorter one. It might go for that. And that'll work. Yeah, I'll just cut that one down. All right, so that means we're going to have to re the wires. This here, I could use another short piece right here. About six inches or so. Let me see this, this one. Longer is always better. You can always cut, <laughs> yeah. cut it down. Shorter, you can't stretch it. Yep. So, I'm quite sure I didn't want to waste too much. If it's in that box, <laughs> it's already <laughs> wasted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that look good. Two, two track in there just for storage. Two track coming into the shed here is good. Okay, let's turn it upside down. Yeah. Right. There. Yeah. We should keep it. Well, we're going to be a little bit south of the gray. Wires, yeah. Which is okay, it means we're gonna have to move those wires over. Or if we can get it back into that spot, right. it would be even better, which I think we can do. I could just fix it right here. Okay, where's that? Okay. Yeah, we could work that in there for yeah. sure. And then work this one here. I'll just have to straighten this curve out a little bit to make it a little bit more uniform. And yeah, once you get the wires out from under it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that goes there and that goes there. We've got enough room in here for hoppers. I didn't make this opening big enough actually. It's my fault. Mm -hmm. But all of that is all based on the uh, HL version. Mm -hmm. That turn out there. <coughs> this is going to go here. This is going to go here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you gotta turn out there, right? Right down the inside. Right. You go there, it'll stub out, those you run around, stub with an engine, whatever. Alright, let's take a break. Third track. Okay, where did I? I was gonna say, where did I put it? <laughs> I'd be looking right at something and not know where it's at. Just watch your head. Yeah. Hey, head's the least of my worry. <laughs> that always gets it somewhere. All right, guys. After Dave left, I decided I was going to mess around with the track a little bit more. Uh, and most likely, this is what's going to happen. The train will come from this side. This is for the ethanol plant. And it will come into the overflow yard. And this will be the arrival track here. <clears throat> and then the... Um, Locomotives could detach and head on into the Phoenix. Then the service crew will come in and take the cars that they need to take. And with this connection right here, come back in on the ethanol track leads right here. And then put the cars in this little three track yard, which hold about 15 cars. Then over here, would be the entrance to the um, hopper shed, hopper unloading shed, and I always put an opposing tra uh, opposing turnouts in here to make, just to make it a little bit more fun. And then this here will be my tanker loading facility. And then I have a runaround track here that's going to be able to hold two SD40s and at least two cars. And so the runaround would be here. And then once all of this is done, they could take whatever empties they have from here and come back here and do the thing, come back in here and come into the overflow yard for further uh, transportation. Anyhow, I think that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys and gals enjoyed it. And as always, your questions, comments, input, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. BNSF 6951 out. Thank you.